Hey everybody, 42% health here, and welcome back to the Hexen Beyond, not Hexen Beyond Heretic, Hexen 2 walkthrough. <laughs> uh, it's been too long. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm picking up right where I left off before, and we are about to head into the Court of 1000 Warriors. Uh, here we will get the other skull that we need. Step forward. Kill a panther. These guys just have tons of hit points. Wow. I'm doing a lot better now than I was in the last video at fighting these guys. The jaguar around this corner. Thank you, Mr. Jaguar. Um, yeah, that sign is for the portal back. And... Okay. Holy cow. You guys can jump. There's a few of these guys outside. I'm curious what my health ceiling is. Whoa! Hello! Because I'd like to know when I can use a Mystic Urn. Why do you guys seem harder to fight than the Panthers? So yeah, there's a few of these guys back here. There's a Lava Pool we could bump them into if we equip. Our Discs of Repulsion, which I don't think we have very many of. We got 10, that's fine. Oh, there is mana on both sides. Goodbye. Whoa! Hey, you. Follow me. Stay in there now. I had 43 health. That's almost 42. Okay. So you stand on this thing. Oh, I forgot to mention that new item that we picked up earlier. Uh, there's one here, too. And, uh, it's a Stone of Summoning. It's basically a Dark Servant. Uh, but I think the... I think the Dark Servants in this game are in some ways more useful than they were in the original Hexen. They do have less hit points, though, so... They're not really good for bosses because they'll get wrecked pretty fast. But I'll probably show them off in, uh, at some point. Well, come to think of it, I always have plenty for the final boss at the end of the game. And, uh, they're really kind of useless there because he's got really strong attacks that are easy enough to avoid, but when he summons them on your Dark Servant. Ring of Turning. This is the most pointless thing ever. It basically causes any damage that enemies do to you gets, they, they take the same amount of damage. This would actually be a good spot to use a uh, Stone of Summoning. Oops, back this way. Yeah, we get like a imp thing. And it does pretty, it does pretty powerful attacks. And it will continue following us around. Alright, let's head this way. It also times out. Oh my gosh, I hate this part. I hate this part. He's stuck. Ring of Reflection is running low. So there is a... Yeah, that funny noise you heard 
just now. There is a Were Jaguar down there. I better switch to this. Um, this platforming is so tricky. If you want to be on this side, get a nice running start, and then you kind of have to like start backpedaling mid-air in order to land on these things. Okay, that is the first time I've ever gotten that in the first try. We do have to fall down there for progress, but first let's do this part. I'm going to kill him before hitting that button. I am going to use a Mystic Urn this time. And our health's counting down because I went over 100, or went over my max. Alright. We have that guy. Sometimes you can kind of seize him here. He has a hard time getting back up on this platform. Huh. I found the right spot to stand. Okay. Oh, hang on. I've got another phone call coming in. Okay. Oh, right. So, this door is just the other side of the bridge where we started. We now can get across this way. Uh, but we do need to go down there. And I will show you why. You know what? <laughs> this is called the Meteor Staff, by the way. It's awesome. I don't want to jump down there and fight him with this thing, though, because splash damage. Okay, so if you fall down here, you can take this water path, but you have to hit this button, go back for air. Uh, our other skull, which is the reason you have to fall down there at least once, hit that button and that opens up this so we can get out. Alright, and we are done. Uh, never mind, I think we have to actually cross the bridge again to get out. Dog on it. Holy cow, twice in a row. Man, you'd think I practiced or something. <laughs> what? There's nothing over here. Oh no, this this way is no. What? What did that switch do? Alright. I don't know what that switch did. I am now officially confused. Uh, this way we will come through on the other side. We will visit this level again. Um, we're not actually done here. Alright, so yeah. That is the Court of a Thousand Warriors so far. Oh, right. That's just a little too high to jump. You have to climb up this way. I don't get the point of that, really. So now, we have both the skulls. We also have two of our elements. So when you get the ornamental key, you can go through that way to get a skull and an element, that way to get a skull and an element. Uh, with both the skulls, we can revisit this place. Place one, place one, and ooh, scorpions. Oh, dude! Where were you? Jeez. 
Sheesh. Oh, I know. He starts down there, but this here is a teleporter. Need another ring of water breathing. We don't use them that much, but they are nice to have when you want them. All right. To the Palace of Columns. And let's get going. Archer on either side here. Uh, either way, you go up here is blocked. So we'll get there later. Gobs of scorpions. You can kind of funnel them through this door and they become easier to fight. These guys don't have a very good attack animation because I can never tell when they're attacking and when they're just walking. These guys take a ton of blue mana to kill. But there they go. He dead. I already hit you a couple times. You should be... Whoa, I'm almost dead. I just used my last quartz flask. Holy cannoli. All right. That's all of that stuff dead. The High Priest uh, Kortepek has taken the element of air with him to the other side. To the other side? You mean... Yeah. We have to go where dead people go. Why didn't you freeze? That's just wrong. Alright, I believe one of these ways, I don't remember which way is which, I believe this way uh, is to the element of air. Yeah, he froze. I actually don't remember what's this way. Okay, let's go this way first. No! Mystic urn. Holy cow, that was not very well done. Oh, we get another meteor staff. Now we get a holy strength. Alright, this is the Court of 1,000 Warriors again. While we have holy strength, I'm gonna pound on this Joker. Oh, we got it again. You can rocket jump with this weapon. Okay. Um, this part is another test. Prove, your prove yourself in the test of Earth. So, once again, I'm going to save. There are jaguars in here. Most of the time, they will get crushed like that. There's 
one bad thing about them getting crushed, though, is that now the things are off time from each other. Uh, I might have just ruined the game because I don't know if I can make it through here. Nope. <laughs> Cause see, the problem is, by the time those open, I will be already getting crushed by the one back here. This one might be easier. I can try to do both at once. Ooh, okay. I did it. Just don't get crushed by any of the things. That's the idea here. Your path is clear. All right, we got the element of Earth. It doesn't matter which side you take normally. Something looks wrong with this one. I'm tempted to go back and observe the other path. Our leaves are moving weird too. Alright, so get to the center part, and uh, when it said our path was clear, it meant this. So yeah, we can come up here, Mystic Urn, you have proven your worth, and we get back up top. Whew, and then this is that other barrier that was up. So, Element of Earth is ours. We only have one element left to go. Which way to get out of here? I will take all of this, thank you kindly. Oh, hang on, we don't want to be up here. I don't think. It is actually faster to go back. This way. Because then... go back this way. Okay. For some reason I thought we got the next piece of our super weapon there, so it might be better to go this way first. There is no infighting in this game, which makes me sad. Also, you'll notice that some of the uh, mana pickup models, the 3D models, are bigger than others, but they're all the exact same amount of mana, so... Killing all the things. Alright, there's an archer across the way. There's a minor puzzle to solve here. Push this button. Push this button. Go around the other side. I didn't use any green mana. And we get a teleporter. Uh, I, if I remember correctly... Oh wow, I'm almost dead again. Yes. So remember that area at the beginning of this level that was blocked off? Where we killed the two archers down there? That's this place. To the tomb of the high priest. Alright, you guys ready? And there's the second piece of our super weapon. Our super weapon is just outlandishly expensive to use, so that's why I don't use it that much.
Corpses do disappear, yeah. Oop, that was a bad shot. Do some of this instead. Okay. Sun Staff. We have the Sun Staff. Um, like I said, it's extraordinarily expensive. It's basically a laser beam. It's kind of like the uh, final weapon in Quake 1, the way it works. Let's not use it on a scorpion. Or on an archer. Let's at least wait for a Were Jaguar or a Were Panther to use it. There's one. It does have a reflecting ability off of walls. So, you, if you're smart, you can like hit things around corners and stuff. I don't usually bother with that feature. Usually. Oh, thank you. That is very much welcome. Is that the High Priest? Where are your spiders? Huh, maybe you didn't drop any spiders. Things don't seem to be able to attack uphill very well. Burn a quartz flask, just cause. Alright, uh, we do get to meet the super scorpion here. He's just like a regular scorpion with more HP. Alright, this part. Um, one of these, this one, will crush you, so... Time your run. I guess they both will crush you, never mind. Uh, more of these that we never use. Let's freeze this guy. Oh, there's more of them down there. Let's stay up here and freeze this guy. Did I wake one up? Now I did. Alright, that's the Skull Wizard. There he is. Nice, and he dropped something for us. Now that opens. Oh, thank you. I'll take that too. And there is the element of air. We are done. We are done with this hub. Boots of speed. Just what we needed. I love this teleporter. There is a secret here that I'm going to show off. Oh, great. Oh, 
Um, let me see if I can remember how to get it. That's where we leave. I think we come up here. Yeah. If you walk along this ledge... ...to here... There be mana up here. Oh cool, he dropped a helmet for us. And we can peek out the window. Uh, these, these I save up for the last, for the end of the game. And, uh, that's because there is an enemy in the final hub that's just such a pain in the butt to fight. Alright, we have all four elements. So with that, we can go to the Bridge of Stars. Full on both types of mana. Yeah, this is a very short hub, if you know what you're doing. We've already killed all the things here. Well, we didn't really. There's more things. Round corners and such. Okay, so, there are four places to put these things. This teleporter takes you to the uppermost part. And basically, just hop down to the next bridge. Ooh. Don't fall in the lava. There's no getting back out. Uh, there's also a hidden... It's not very well hidden. But there's also a hidden uh, Tome of Power up there, which I forgot to grab, so I'm going to grab that now. But that's where the boss is. So if you hop down a, lever, a level or two... Where is it? This isn't it. Doggone, where is it? Oh no! I'm dead. Let's try that again, shall we? He must have ducked, because I sent enough ice shards his way. Right. One. Two. Three. And I could have swore there was a Tome of Power, like, right there. Unless it's just not there in hard difficulty, I guess. Four. I guess it's not there in hard difficulty. That's kind of lame. Oh well. Some cinematics. And I'm gonna save. I am going to equip this. And I will probably use a Tome of Power, which is R? Yes. Alright. No. Don't use this with the Tome of Power. Okay. If you use Tome of Power with this, it shoots three beams, which is, like, useless for things like bosses. So, and it burns through ammo, like, way faster. <laughs> I mean, did you see how fast it was going? Rewind the video and look at how fast that thing burns through ammo. 
When you use this with a Tome of Power, it creates these Cyclones that shoot Meteors everywhere, but they're kind of random, so I don't like to use it either. I'm going to equip... Uh, I'm going to load, and I'm going to use this with a Tome of Power. Alright, he fires lots of homing stuff. And we just about died. Alright, there is a ring of flight right here. And yay, we are airborne. Tome of power, and just start... Make sure you hit him, though. Grab mana. Try not to get hit by his fire or anything, because it hurts. And he's gone. I want to grab all the mana I can. I think that's about it. Yeah. As the screams of death fade to silence, you are once again ripped through the eternal, through the ethereal plane. Sunlight shines down from the uncaring heavens, and you recognize your surroundings as the land of Thizes. Once a cultural haven for learning and art, this the land is now a barren, deserted stronghold. Oh wait, hang on. Is a barren, deserted place. Deep within his hidden stronghold lies Pestilence, master of curses and pain. It was his, it was his diseases and plagues that decimated the people of Thysis. Oh, that's an S, not a Z. Thysis. Allowing Eidolon to enter this realm with barely a fight. I'm sorry, this text is tiny in uh, windowed mode. Uh, this game was made for days when pixels were larger. Perhaps now, with your newfound abilities and weapons, a cure has finally arrived. Okay, and this is the start of Hub 3, and it is Ancient Egypt themed, as you can tell. We're moving, because we're standing on a little sand dune. Alright, so I'm going to save it there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.